Hey everybody, welcome to my mindfulness and manifesting video. So today's topic is on gentle redirection. This is something we do in our meditation and mindfulness circles as a practice, but can also be extremely useful and helpful for conscious manifesting too. So what is redirection? Well, in mindfulness practice, when we meditate, even if we're just doing basic breathing and using our breath as what's called an anchor, we are not trying to silence all our thoughts, but rather allow them to come and go, gently redirecting our attention back onto our breath. One of my favorite analogies that I use a lot is that we often think of our thoughts like cars going by on a busy road or highway. And just as we, the observer, just watch with mindful curiosity, we may label them. For example, thinking, 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 or we may note patterns, but we don't want to become attached to the story that they're telling. Well, sometimes it's inevitable. That's what our monkey mind does after all. So when we found that our attention has hitched a ride on, th on a thought passing by, and see, there he is right there, Mr. Attention for you. And that's not a person. He represents your focus, your inner eyeballs. So when we find Mr. Attention has hitched a ride, we gently redirect the focus back onto our breath. We call this being aware of our breath. So in mindfulness practice, we don't just do this when we're meditating. We also have a pause practice throughout the day. It's a continual remembering, a continual recentering in which we stop what we're doing, even for a few seconds, and focus on our breathing or another point of focus, like a rock, a leaf, something neutral, and just observe and redirect, observe and redirect. It's much easier for you to just experience how this can help you in your conscious manifesting than to lecture you. I want you to uh, get in a comfortable position. If you're seated, then keep your shoulders back. You can do this walking or laying down. I don't care as long as it's done safely. Okay, you don't have, if you can't sit still, I don't care, that's fine. Uh, you also don't have to close your eyes either. Uh, do what's comfortable for you. I want you to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. I want you to imagine that your breath is a color and you are going to follow it as you inhale and exhale. Now, if you're laying down and this is a struggle for you, you can get a teddy bear or some type of stuffed animal and put it on your chest and you can watch your chest raise can watch it raise and lower raise and lower okay there's different variations here but I'm going to continue on as if you are following along following the color in and out okay now if you struggle with visualization that's okay if you can't clearly picture it just try okay breathe in through your nose out through your mouth breathe in through your nose out through your mouth try to keep your attention on your breath and when you find that you've gotten lost in a passing thought that's okay don't scold yourself just gently redirect it back to your breath i'm gonna breathe in two three four out two three four in two three four and out two, three, four. And I don't care if you count to four or five or six, just if the counting helps, go ahead and do that. Just keep breathing slowly in, holding it, exhaling, holding it. And just keep redirecting your focus, your attention back onto your breath. And do a big inhale and a big exhale. Good job. All right, how was that for you guys? anybody find themselves having thoughts that were intrusive or easy to get attached to 
any difficulty redirecting back to your breath, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's just part of learning. There's no perfect way of doing it. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. It's just whatever your experience is. Now, when you practice the pause throughout the day, it doesn't need to be a huge formal yoga-like session. In my courses, I have my students do at least two quick 30-second check-ins a day that are like a very quick pulse check. Nothing fancy, nothing structured, just in moment. Oh yeah, I need to pause a moment and just check in with myself real quick. Okay, I can hear some of you asking, this is great and all, but how does this help when it comes to conscious creation and manifesting? Well, great question. Our attention just loves to replay old stories. And it's those same old stories that keep manifesting when we ruminate on them, when we can't stop hearing hurtful words that someone said to us, or stop replaying old embarrassing memories or even childhood trauma. So this is where mindful awareness and mindful redirection comes in. Okay? Mindful awareness helps you to realize you are having inner chatter and intrusive thoughts you might not even have been aware of before. Mindful redirection helps you to remember you're in the director's chair. You are the operant power in your reality and to be able to cut the scene even in the moment while it's playing. Only it's not an abrupt or abrasive thing, but a gentle redirection. And this time, not back to your breath, but to your new script or screenplay. Whether that is a memory you revised or whether it's just new beliefs about yourself or another person, you are just gently, gently turning your attention back onto your anchor. You have to remember that the law of assumption is also called the law of cause and effect, law of realization, and the law of reflection, among other things. The 3D reality is forced by law to reflect back to you your dwelling place, including your beliefs and inner conversations that you dwell or ruminate on. The first step, having awareness, helps you to look at your 3D reality and realize all the things around you that are manifestations of seeds you planted in imagination, even unwittingly or unknowingly. The more you become aware, the more you see how everything in your 3D reality is just a reflection of your beliefs, your assumptions, your memories, etc. Yet, attempting to police, police these things can cause anxiety and feelings of defeat, even depression and hopelessness. This is not micromanaging or policing your thoughts, but a very gentle practice a very, very gentle practice of redirecting your attention back onto the truth. And the truth is whatever you have decided to accept as true in your reality, whatever the facts are that you want to be, whatever version of reality you want to experience, whatever beliefs you want to have, or whatever new story you want to manifest. Whatever you hear, see, and otherwise experience in imagination creates the script that gets projected onto the screen of space and plays back to you. Now, if you found this helpful and you want help with these things or with scripting things that manifest, I have a new course called Hearing Before Seeing that specifically focuses on using our inner ear and incorporates mindfulness methods based on my experiences and background as a mindfulness instructor. And thanks for watching my video.